diaper rash the problem and remedies. Babies, old age, and individuals with disabilities who have mobility issues are most likely to suffer from diaper rash. If you are a parent or caregiver, the problem can add more frustration on top of the heavy caring work. Hi there, this is Jenny. This video is made in response to an audience, Sophia's comment, thank you. Diaper rash or diaper dermatitis refers to the irritation and inflammation of the skin and the diaper area causing itchy, pain, discomfort, and even lead to secondary infections. It is typically caused by prolonged exposure to wetness, friction, and the presence of urine and feces. Addressing diaper rash is important as it affects up to 50% of infants at some point during their diaper wearing years. The Suffering Groups Diaper rash can affect anyone wearing diapers or incontinence briefs. While it is most commonly associated with infants, other populations may also suffer from the condition. Babies, being the most vulnerable to diaper rash, most often experience it frequently between the ages of 4 and 15 months. Their delicate skin constantly contact with moisture and friction diapers and the presence of urine and feces can be irritating, leading to redness, inflammation, and discomfort. Older adults who have mobility issues or rely on caregivers for their daily activities can also be susceptible to diaper rash. They may face challenges in maintaining proper hygiene or experience increased moisture due to incontinence issues. Similarly, individuals with disabilities are also prone to diaper rash resulting from their difficulties with self-care and managing personal hygiene. Diaper rash doesn't just impact the individuals who experience it, it can also have significant effects on the caretakers involved. Parents of infants or caregivers of older adults and disabled individuals may experience emotional distress, feelings of helplessness, or guilt seeing their loved ones suffer in discomfort or pain. Increased workload adds another burden. Additional time and effort from caretakers may involve in diaper changes, frequent cleaning, and increased demand in daily care may overload them, who are already juggling multiple responsibilities. Moreover, the cost of specialized diapers, personal care, and remedy products may also lead to financial implications, particularly for those on limited budgets. In light of these challenges, caretakers must prioritize self-care and seek support when needed. Leading Factors Apart from the immediate trigger of diaper rash, there are also other underlying causes including Skin irritation Diaper rash, as the name suggests, is commonly caused by infrequent diaper changes. The prolonged contact with wet or dirty diapers can lead to irritation from chemicals found in urine and stool, as well as rubbing or chafing in the diaper areas. Health Situation Sensitive skin, diarrhea, and allergic reactions to soap, detergent, or baby wipes may lead to diaper rash. For example, certain elderly adults wearing incontinence briefs may be allergic to the perfumes in the diaper material. Hygiene routine Not washing the genital area carefully when bathing can lead to a rash around the area where the diaper is worn. Infection Yeast, fungal, or bacterial infection can increase the likelihood of developing diaper rash. That's because yeast grows in warm, dark, moist areas. Diet and environment. Consumption of acidic or irritating foods daily and environmental factors, such as excessive heat and humidity, can further exacerbate the problem. Sometimes the intake of antibiotics may also be a leading factor. Common syndromes. The problem of diaper rash can range from mild to severe. It can usually be diagnosed by its appearance and other common syndromes as below. Skin appearance. Diaper rash is a form of dermatitis that looks like patches of inflamed skin. In mild cases, the irritated skin may be pink to red-colored, dry, tender, and raised bumps around the buttocks, genitals, and thigh areas, which may be warm to the touch. For individuals who are brown or black, they may have lighter skin in the affected areas. The rash may be just a few spots, or it may cover the entire diaper area. Pain and Sores in more severe cases, the rash may include itchy, painful, burning, and open blisters or even sores. If it becomes secondary infection, the rash may turn bright red and the skin around the area may get peeling or swollen. The rash may extend up to the hip area. Fussiness The discomfort particularly happens to infants and young children, making it challenging for them to sleep, play, and engage in daily activities. The constant irritation and pain can lead to fussiness, crying, irritability, and difficulty, especially during diaper changes. Common Solutions 
Diaper rash usually clears up with simple at-home care but some may require further treatments. It is also important to take preventive measures. Here are several common prophylactic remedies and solutions for diaper rash. Frequent diaper changes. Change the diaper frequently. Aim to change the diaper every two to three hours or as soon as it becomes wet or soiled. This can minimize prolonged exposure to moisture and irritants and keep the diaper areas clean and dry. Choosing diaper. Nowadays, disposable diapers are more commonly used than cloth made, and this trend does decrease the likelihood of diaper rash according to research. Making good choices of diapers helps in preventing and managing diaper rash. Absorbency. Look for diapers that offer excellent absorbency that effectively absorbs and locks away moisture. Breathability. Opt for diapers that are breathable and allow air circulation to reduce heat and moisture buildup. Softness. Diapers made from hypoallergenic materials are usually more gentle and soft to minimize the risk of irritation. Fit. Ensure that the diaper fits properly to one's body size. A snug but comfortable fit helps to prevent leaks and reduces friction. Chemicals and fragrances. Avoid diapers with unnecessary chemicals, fragrances, or dyes. These additives can be harsh on sensitive skin and increase the risk of irritation and allergic reactions. Brand reputation. Consider reputable brands that have a good track record for quality and safety. Look for diapers that are dermatologically tested and recommended by pediatricians. Cleaning routine. Establishing a daily skin care routine is essential for babies, older adults, and individuals with disabilities. This proper hygiene practice includes gentle cleansing with mild fragrance-free cleanser or soap, and rinse with warm water to remove residual irritants. Avoid wipes that contain alcohol and fragrance. If there is a diaper rash and the situation is severe, use a squirt bottle of water so you can clean and rinse without rubbing sore skin. Pat the area dry gently with a soft towel or let it air dry, and do not rub. Don't use talcum powder, especially for babies as that can be harmful if breathed in. Improve airflow. Don't make the diaper too tight, especially overnight. Keep the diaper loose or use larger than needed diapers so the wet and soiled parts don't rub against their skin as much. It's also a good idea to allow the affected area to air out for a few minutes a day without a diaper. The airflow will help heal the rash. Barrier cream or ointment. Apply protective diaper rash cream or ointment liberally to the affected area two to four times a day. They form a waterproof layer on the skin to keep urine and poop from touching and damaging it. Creams tend to have less oil so can spread easily. Ointments are usually thick and provide a stronger barrier against irritants. The latter don't have to be completely removed at the next diaper change, but they don't allow air to flow through the skin. Consider the suitable one according to the severity in your work routine. Most diaper rash creams and ointments on the market contain zinc oxide which also improves skin healing and prevent friction. Avoid heavy scrubbing or rubbing when applying as that will further damage the skin. If necessary, cover the cream or ointment with petroleum jelly so it doesn't stick before putting on a clean, dry diaper. A natural choice of skin cream is made from aloe vera, known for its soothing and healing properties. Aloe vera helps treat the fundamental causes of diaper rash by reducing inflammation, promoting skin repair, and improving overall skin health. Its natural moisturizing effects also help keep the skin hydrated, preventing further irritation. Prescription treatments. If home care doesn't do the trick, the healthcare provider may recommend prescriptions according to the situation. For example, antifungal cream for a fungal infection and topical or oral antibiotics for a bacterial infection. A mild steroid cream, hydrocortisone, can be used to help heal the skin upon doctor's instruction. Nutrients Certain nutrients can play a role in addressing diaper rash and skin health at large. Vitamin A and zinc are particularly beneficial for skin healing. Foods rich in vitamin A include carrots, sweet potatoes, and leafy greens. Good sources of zinc include lean meats, legumes, and whole grains. Including these nutrient-rich foods in the diet can support the healing process and strengthen the skin's natural defenses. Or consider using a quality comprehensive health supplement to provide a well-balanced network of essential multivitamins, minerals, and trace elements. Diaper rash is a common problem that can cause discomfort and distress for infants, elder adults, and individuals with incontinence situations, disabilities, or lack of self-caring capacity. 
the immediate cause is prolonged contact with wet or dirty diapers. Frequent changes of diaper, proper cleaning routine, diaper rash ointments, aloe creams, and supporting nutrients can help alleviate symptoms, promote healing, and improve overall skin health. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this channel to receive more updates on health and anti-aging. If you have any specific topic that you are interested in, let me know in your comments. Bye for now and see you again soon.